How does the new Tesla Model 3 compare to the BMW i4? Well, in this episode, we are going to find out. The standard i4 eDrive 35 starts at around $52,000, and that goes all the way up to $70,000 for the most expensive M50. The base Model 3 rear-wheel drive starts at around $39,000, and that goes all the way up to $46,000 for the most expensive all-wheel drive version. The i4 looks decent on the outside. Not a big fan of the front mainly because of that grill, otherwise it looks decent on the outside. The side looks pretty good, I like the door handles the way they're integrated into the door, the windows are big, I also like that blue hockey stick at the bottom, and the back is nice. Those taillights look beautiful, however I don't know how I feel about those cutouts at the bottom of the bumper, normally where exhaust pipes would go on a gas car. And also this thing is crazy heavy, it weighs over 4600 pounds, that's crazy. The Model 3 looks much cleaner on the outside. The front of the Model 3 looks so much better than the front of the i4. It gets slimmer headlights, there is no grill. The side also I prefer. The wheel designs are very nice. I like the look of the door handles better. The windows are really big. And the back also looks very good. I love the taillight designs. And there's no cutout at the bottom of the bumper for exhaust pipes. This car is also much lighter than the i4. It weighs over 3,800 pounds. Definitely I prefer the look of the Model 3. But which exterior design do you guys prefer? Let me know in the comments down below. The i4's interior is nice. The interior design isn't that interesting, but it still looks very good. And also, you can never go wrong with BMW's interior quality. Their interiors always have very expensive feeling materials, and are very solidly put together. There's also ambient lighting, which looks very nice at night. The windows are also double layered to help improve the sound insulation. Now for the comfort features, it gets heated seats, a heated steering wheel, and front ventilated seats. However, some of them cost extra. That is not the case with the Model 3. It gets heated seats, a heated steering wheel, and now front ventilated seats, unlike the previous version, all as standard. And I do prefer the interior design of the Model 3 much more. It's just a shame that unlike the i4, it doesn't get a driver's display. However, unlike the i4, it gets a rear display. There's also ambient lighting in this vehicle as well, and it looks very nice at night. Now, the interior quality of the Model 3 has substantially improved over the previous one, but still, it's difficult to beat BMW's build quality. Tesla is close, and they are constantly improving it. But still, the BMW does have slightly better interior quality. But the design of the Tesla's interior is much cleaner, and looks more futuristic. And all of the windows are double-layered, to help improve the sound insulation. Overall, both interiors are very nice. The Tesla's interior looks very cool, and has a futuristic feel to it. And the BMW's interior is very high quality. But which interior do you guys prefer? Let me know in the comments down below. The BMW has two displays in the front. You have your driver's display and the center display which provides vehicle controls. It has over there updates, so as you own your i4, it gets better over time. There's Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Both are wireless. There's also the optional 3D surround camera which is very helpful for parking. There's also the optional heads-up display, which makes it super easy to view your speedometer since you don't have to take your eyes off the road. And then there's that really cool feature, the augmented reality for navigation. How it works is when you set the navigation, it will turn on the front camera and display arrows pointing towards the direction you will have to go. That way you never make a wrong turn. It's a pretty high tech car. So is the Model 3. It also gets two displays as standard. However, in the front, you have your center display, and in the back, you have a smaller display which provides climate controls and entertainment for your passengers. There's also over there updates in this car, which Tesla first introduced. So as you own your Model 3, it gets better over time. It doesn't have Apple CarPlay nor Android Auto. But you don't need it considering how good the system is in the Tesla. It already has those vital applications that you need every day, such as Google Maps, web browser, Spotify, Apple Music, all those kind of applications. You can also pair your phone with the vehicle, allowing you to use it as the key, like with the BMW. There's also a wide range of games and videos on these beautiful displays. It also has a 360 degree view, which is very helpful for parking, and it has way more cool features. There's pin to drive, so when you enable this feature, You'll have to create a passcode that you will be entering before driving the vehicle. That way the Model 3 never gets stolen. You can also set a passcode for the glove box, rather than those traditional keys. There's also dog mode. So when you leave your pet inside, this feature will keep the climate on and display a message, letting people outside know the pet inside is safe. And you can view the interior camera through the Tesla app to make sure your pet is doing well. There's also sentry mode, which uses the exterior cameras for the self-driving features as security cameras, which constantly records around the vehicle for suspicious activity. And if you capture something, it will save that into its built-in dashcam which comes as standard. And for major threats, 
it will trigger the alarm system and send a notification to your phone. And then when you get back inside, you can view those clips on the center display. And also you can view those cameras of the Tesla app. It's a super high tech car. Both of these vehicles are, but the Tesla does have the edge. In the trunk of the Model 3, you have up to 21 cubic foot of space. And there's an additional 3.1 cubic foot of space in the trunk. So in total, it has a cargo capacity of up to 24.1 cubic foot. However, the i4's hatchback style trunk not only is bigger, it also makes it easier to load in items, and it has up to 46 cubic foot of space. There is no frunk on this vehicle, but still the i4 has a better cargo capacity. The standard i4 eDrive 35 has one electric motor driving the rear wheels, which makes 295 horsepower and 295 pound-feet of torque. It also gets a 70 kilowatt hour battery pack, which has up to 276 miles of range and can charge at up to 180 kilowatts. The eDrive 40 also has one electric motor driving the rear wheels, but it makes 335 horsepower and 317 pound-feet of torque. It also gets an 84 kilowatt hour battery pack, which has up to 301 miles of range and can charge at up to 205 kilowatts. The XDrive 40 has two electric motors combined to make 396 horsepower and 443 pound-feet of torque. It also gets an 84 kilowatt hour battery pack like the eDrive 40, but it has up to 307 miles range and can also charge at up to 205 kilowatts. The most powerful M50 has two electric motors, but combined they make 536 horsepower and 586 pound-feet of torque. It also gets an 84 kilowatt hour battery pack, but it only has up to 269 miles of range, and it can charge at up to 205 kilowatts. Now every version gets a single speed automatic transmission. The standard Model 3 rear wheel drive has one electric motor driving the rear wheels, which makes 279 horsepower and 310 pound-feet of torque. It also gets a 60 kilowatt hour battery pack that has up to 272 miles of range and can charge at up to 170 kilowatts. The long range has two electric motors, combined to make 490 horsepower and 360 pound feet of torque. It also gets an 82 kilowatt hour battery pack that has up to 341 miles of range and can charge at up to 250 kilowatts. Now like the i4, it gets a single speed automatic. So then, how fast are these vehicles? While the standard Model 3 rear-wheel drive can go from 0 to 60 miles power in 5.8 seconds, the all-wheel drive can go in 4.2 seconds. The standard i4 eDrive 35 can also go from 0 to 60 miles power in 5.8 seconds, just like the Model 3 rear-wheel drive. The eDrive 40 can go in 5.4 seconds, the xDrive 40 can go in 4.9 seconds, and the M50 can go in 3.7 seconds. Overall, the most powerful version of the i4 is slightly faster than the current most powerful version of the Model 3. However, Tesla is soon going to reveal the Model 3 performance. Since the previous Model 3 performance was faster than the i4 M50, the new Model 3 performance is going to be much faster. With the i4, the spring suspension system improves the agility of the vehicle, making it handle better as well. And also, since it's electric, the instant torque significantly improves the acceleration, making this vehicle a lot of fun to drive. And also, there's the regenerative braking. So when you lift your foot off the accelerator, the vehicle automatically stops and recharges the battery at the same time. This makes the driving experience so much easier, since you don't have to constantly press on the brake pedal, and it's also good for the battery. In fact, there are many benefits of the battery pack since it's mounted at the bottom of the vehicle. It provides a low center of gravity which improves the handling, and most importantly reduces the risk of this vehicle rolling over, improving the safety rating. All of the all-wheel drive versions provide more power and significantly better traction, and it has a wide range of self-driving features. There's adaptive cruise control which will automatically accelerate and brake for a vehicle in front, and has steering assist to keep you inside the lane. There's rear cross traffic alert, emergency stop assist, lane keeping assist, evasion aid assist, and blind spot assist. Overall, this vehicle is going to be pretty good to drive. It's fun and has self-driving features, making the driving experience more convenient and safer. The Model 3 also has spring suspension, making the vehicle more agile and nimble, and with the new Model 3, Tesla has significantly improved the suspension to make it much softer than the previous Model 3 suspension. And it's also much lighter than the i4, which will make it feel even smoother and allow it to steer faster, giving it a sporty feeling. So like the i4, the Model 3 has double layered windows. And with the new Model 3, Tesla has significantly improved the sound insulation over the previous one, making it even quieter inside. And also since this vehicle is also electric, there's that instant torque which significantly improves the acceleration making the driving experience so much more enjoyable. There's the regenerator braking also, which makes the driving experience significantly easier. Just lift your foot off the accelerator and the vehicle will automatically stop and recharge the battery at the same time, improving the efficiency. It also has a low center of gravity thanks to the battery pack at the bottom, so that improves the handling and reduces the risk of this vehicle rolling over. 
and has way more self-driving features than the i4. It gets autopilot as standard, which has adaptive cruise control to automatically brake and accelerate, and has auto steer to keep you inside the lane, and also you can pay extra for features such as auto lane change, which will allow the vehicle to change lanes on its own, navigate on autopilot, which will allow the autopilot system to use the navigation to drive you in the direction based on the route, and you can pay extra for the full self-driving package, which will allow the vehicle to drive completely by itself. You still have to be seated in the driver's seat and monitor the vehicle constantly, but it's very advanced. It also has automatic emergency braking, lane departure avoidance, blind spot warning, and obstacle aware acceleration, which reduces motor torque when close to obstacles while parking, and may apply brakes if you get too close to an object. Overall, it's also going to be a very good car to drive. It's comfortable, it's enjoyable, and has a lot of self-driving features. So which is better, the Tesla Model 3 or the BMW i4? It's the Model 3, mainly because it has better value than the i4. It starts at a much lower price, but at the same time has way more features included with it. The previous Model 3 also beat the i4, and the new version is even better. Now do you guys agree? Let me know in the comments down below which vehicle do you guys prefer. But anyways, that's gonna wrap it up for today's episode.